Okay, so welcome back to another video and today it's all about boiler efficiency and how to read those rated efficiencies and what do they actually mean, but also how can you further improve the performance and the energy efficiency rating of your home gas boiler. Well, the first thing we need to discuss is what is an actual energy efficiency rating because they come in two forms. You've got an A or a B or a C rating, or if you've got a renewable product, you might have A plus, A double plus, A triple plus, but then you have rated percentages. And these also get a little bit confusing because you've got something called a SAP efficiency, and then you've also got something called an ERP efficiency. But what does this all mean? Well, the safest place to look is the rated SAP efficiency of the actual product because they're in the UK, all boilers need to be A rated. So you're not going to find anything above an A rating for a gas boiler because to get above A, it needs to produce more heat than fuel goes in and that's impossible with a combustion boiler. So looking at the rated seasonal efficiency will give you an indication on the performance and efficiency of your chosen boiler. Now, here in the UK, all boilers need to be a minimum of 89% efficient. And what this means is for every pound you spend on gas, you get a minimum of 89 pence worth of heat out of your boiler. But where does the other 11% go? Well, it's through thermal losses and it also goes out the flue. So most, well, all new boilers have a flue on top of them that flue will suck air in to be burned and then will blow exhaust gas out. And that exhaust gas is a higher temperature than the air that's taken in. So there's some thermal loss there. Now there are some boilers that have a higher rated efficiency. We're gonna take a look at those in a minute. But first things first, let's take a look at some of these advertised ratings to help you understand them a little bit further. So where do you actually find these rated efficiencies? Well. You could start with the manufacturer's actual official literature, and I've got one here on screen. This is for a Worcester Bosch 4000. And as you can see, for hot water, it's rated A, and also for heating, it's rated A. So as we expected, it's an A-rated appliance. And as you can see here, these are A-rated, both for hot water and for heating. And underneath, it says 94% efficiency for the central heating. So what this is telling you, because this is a combi boiler, it does hot water and it does heating. They're both A rated, but the overall efficiency for the central heating side of the water is 94%. Now it doesn't actually tell you what the rated efficiency is for the hot water. Now we can find that, it's in the installer literature, but it's about 88%. So this will give you a combined efficiency of about 91, something like that. Now if you can't find the manufacturer's literature anywhere, then you can use something called said but. This is the seasonal efficiency database for boilers in the UK. Now you can find that website here, you click on this link, it comes up with this error, you have to click this top link here, and then it's gonna load up this screen, and we can now search the database. So once you click search database, you need to go up to the top and get the PCDB, this is the domestic product search, click on boilers, and you can have a look at the, any boilers of your choice. So we want a mains gas product, it's a combi boiler. So we can choose any boiler of your choice. So we'll do mains gas. We're gonna select combi. Let's pick a random product, something like a alpha. We could look at the model name. So if we look at one of their newer products, which is the Ecotech, you know, E-Tech, there we go. And you can pick the models, so that's a 28 kilowatt. You can search and it'll give you the details for that product. Now, every single bullet in the UK is on this database and it'll tell you the performance for winter, the performance for summer. It will tell you um, the hot water performance and it'll give you all the power details that you need. So what this does is give you an option to verify the manufacturer's claims. Now, you will always see a discrepancy between the two different 
publications because manufacturers might be looking at the ERP pump rating, they might be looking at the summer of seasonal efficiency, they might be looking at the SAP number, whereas this will give you the specific database level information. So unless you really understand that, it's probably a bit complex and I'd lean more towards the manufacturer figures. Now, if you're looking for a more high performance product, you want to choose a really efficient product, then there are products on the market. I mentioned this earlier on, and one of them is this. This is the Wiesmann 100. So this is a boiler that came out a couple of years ago, and it has a very advanced boiler burner system. And this burner system has something called Lamba Pro. So what Lamba Pro does, Lamba Pro will read the quality of the gas coming, it reads the current air quality, the density, and it adjusts that burn to give you the most efficient setting. It's basically what modern cars do, modern combustion cars, they have that sort of technology as well. And what this means is it can achieve a really high performance. So this actual product is rated up to 98%. There's a little, um, pair of brackets behind that which says HS. What HS means is that's the output it can achieve of the fuel going in. So it's not an overall 98% efficient product. That's how performance, that's how thermally efficient the actual combustion engine is. But what it does mean is it will be a higher performance, more efficient product. Just something else to mention, I've mentioned ERP a few times. This is an energy rated pump. What an ERP pump is, is a central heating circulator that is dynamic, meaning it can read different loads and different pressures and flows and make an automatic adjustment to always be working in the most efficient performance setting. Because pumps globally, I read the other day, account for about 9% of all energy. Now, obviously this isn't pumps in central heating boilers, but pumps are in pretty much everything. Your home water supply is pumped, your waste is pumped, your boiler has pumps, they're, they're in cars, they're in everything. So having an energy rated pump means that you're not using lots of electricity to run the circulation in your boiler. It's always gonna be looking for the most efficient setting. So we discussed earlier about improving this efficiency standard. Now this can be done by buying a more efficient product like that Wiesmann 100 or something like a Valen Ecotec Plus, but there are other products on the market, hardware that can further improve the performance and reduce the gas burn in your product. Now the first one is weather compensation. So weather compensation is a little device that will sit outside of your property it's linked to your boiler and it will tell the boiler the external temperature so it can maximize the performance and the flow temperature of the central heating so if it's really cold outside the boiler might ramp up quite quickly and heat the property in a short period of time if it's not too cold outside it may take a longer time to do this and that's a more efficient way of doing it You've then got something called Open Therm. So Open Therm is a communication system that links your wireless or your wired thermostat in your property to the actual boiler. And Open Therm compatible controllers can talk to Open Therm boilers. And what this does again is improve that overall efficiency. Now, when you're installing the product alongside something like WeatherCom or alongside open firm, you can also make additional improvements. And these are to improve the quality of the water in the system and remove any sludge or debris. So the cleaner the system, the more efficient the boiler will be able to heat the property. Because if your radiators are full of sludge, which is essentially metal, and debris that builds up that sits at the bottom of the radiator, this is quite difficult to heat. It reduces the amount of water in the radiator and therefore makes the radiator less efficient, meaning the boiler's got to work harder and it has to burn more gas. So having your boiler installed and having the system flushed at the same time will improve the overall efficiency of the product. Now here at Heatable, when you're having a new boiler installed, we offer as standard a hot chemical flush. And this essentially is putting a chemical in, which is like an acid, 
that removes any debris, we heat the system up and we flush it out. And that's good for light debris, anything. If a system's in general good health, this will keep it in tip-top condition. But if your system is a little bit more sort of tired, you know your radiators are cold at the bottom and hot at the top, you might need more of an aggressive flush, but we do offer that as well. So once you've clicked on a product here, this is that Worcester Bosch 4000 we were looking at earlier, you can click on more details. You can then have a look at the options we have for you on the system. So one example here would be a Pro Flush. So the Pro Flush essentially is where we connect a machine to your system, we agitate all the radiators and we remove that debris. You can have that done for about £199 and it will improve the performance of your product. If you want to add one of those open therm controllers, then something like the Nest Google um, thermostat is open therm compatible. Now, what you need to watch out for is on a Worcester product, they don't allow third party controllers to talk to their boiler in open therm. And that's because it's protected by something called Buzz and Buzz is their communication protocol. So if you want open therm with a Worcester, then what you need to have is one of Worcester's smart controls. If your boiler is already installed and you're just looking to make some further savings, then you could add one of these controllers or you could add WeatherComp, but there's even more basic stuff that you could do one of them is actually free. One of them is to reduce the flow temperature of the actual boiler itself. So the lower setting the boiler can be on and still heat your house, the less gas you will burn. And you can do this, it's a little bit of trial and error. Now you need to be careful when you do this with boilers that have got a separate hot water tank, because if you set that flow temperature too low, you might not heat your domestic hot water high enough that can cause you two problems. One of them is you'll have a pretty lukewarm shower, and the second one is you could get Legionellas. So this is best advised for something like a combi boiler, and what you do is you set your desired temperature on your thermostat, and you keep tweaking that flow temperature down and down and down until the point where you feel the house is still warm enough and you've got it on the lowest possible setting. Aside from that, the other thing you wanna do is keep your boiler in top tip condition and you do this by having it serviced because servicing is really really important for both boiler safety but it's also important for boiler performance because when we service a boiler we clean out stuff like the condensed trap you'll have the burner cleaned out at set intervals and you'll make sure you're always in the most efficient setting now on heatables website you can actually book boiler servicing so you go to the heating section you click on the top and then you can book your boiler service. And we offer this for £99. You can book it online and you can pick your set date. Now, once you've had your first service done, we then offer it on a lower cost monthly basis. So you can spread the cost beyond your first service and your engineer, when he attends, will inspect the product, do a visual inspection, do a combustion analysis to make sure it's all burning right and make any tweaks that are necessary. So. This has benefits in terms of A, it will save you money because you're not burning gas that you're not gonna use in the home, but also it keeps your boiler inspected and make sure there's no safety concerns with it. As you can see, there are lots you can do to both improve the efficiency of an existing boiler or to make sure that when you're buying a new boiler, you get the most bang for your buck. Now, if you want a quote to have one of these boilers installed in your home, then you can head over to heatable.co.uk and we can give you a fixed price to have any of those products installed as quick as tomorrow. And if you want to add those upgrades on, you can do that at the checkout stage. Alternatively, if you're looking for a boiler service, then again, head to the Heatable website and we'll be able to give you a fixed price and get you booked in generally within about seven days.